Rex Dooman Cup Group 1 2000 metres and here's Numerian Annabelle Neesham, Jamie Mott, second last year. Yes, he, he likes Queensland, this fellow, um, and he comes out of the right form race, the Hollandale, which he won and, and beat them easily. And he was first up, so he's obviously fitter, and uh, yeah, we must respect him today. It was a momentous occasion when Rough Habit won his third Dooman Cup. This horse is trying to do the same. Quetor, Tommy Berry in the saddle for the Snowdens. Yeah, that'll be a story. He's primed fourth up now. Is uh, I think soft six is absolutely, uh, probably perfect for him, so let's hope he can do it, he's sure to be running on. Kovalika third in this race last year en route to the derby which he won Nashville Chris Waller. Yeah and he was only a length behind uh, Wetor and Numerian as a three year old. I think the key to him is getting back to 2,000 metres and back onto a, a, a better better track. He, he seemed to battle a little bit at the sunny coast last time but noticeably the last 100 metres he was doing his best looking for this trip. Here's Ronnie's mate Detonator Jack, McDonald and Kieran Ma. Yeah I know it's his first time I'm at weight for age, but I love him getting to 2,000 metres for the first time since he was a three-year-old. He gives every, in, every impression he will eat it up, and I think um, he's going to be right in this finish. Here's a Melbourne Cup winner who first made his name in Queensland. Vow and declare Billy Egan on for Danny O'Brien. Yeah, an interesting runner. They took some good prices about him when Tab first went up with their markets, and we know he's a quality horse, and he's got to be sharp 2,000 metres around Doombin, and obviously they're They've set him for, for this carnival after running a great fourth in the Australian Cup behind Cascadia. And so there's a big respect factor with Val and Declare. Here's an Epsom Derby winner, Serpentine. Timmy Clark for Waterhouse and Bot. Nice and fresh. Six weeks since the Sydney Cup run. His previous two wins at 2,000 are great. Just wish it was a touch drier for him. He gets a solo lead here and does what he wants. Young Werther, another one for Danny O'Brien. Damien Lane. He goes around in all of these staying races and he's never far away. Note that he does get glue on shoes today in front for the, I'm not sure whether it's the first time, but they're on today. El Bodegon, number eight, Jimmy Orman for Chris Waller. Yeah, look, his only good run in Australia was in a Cox Plate on a, on a heavy track. Whether this track's wet enough for him, that's the query. Naval College, Tommy Sherry, Annabelle Neesham. Yeah, he's, he's obviously a nice middle distance horse, but I just wonder wonder about him at the weight for age. The ghostly grey Jean Blake Shin, Annabelle Neesham. Yeah, genuine, adaptable type. Uh, can make his own luck in the box seat here. He's definitely got a place chance. The Aubrey and Wagga Cup winner, Faulkner Park, Tyler Schiller, Annabelle Neesham. Yeah, not sure about him on, on a shifting track, uh, but he, his win at Wagga was just unbelievable. He beat political debate, but it was the style in which he won it. I'm sure he's going to be here when the whips are cracking. Gosford Cup winner, he's a shocker. Jamie Carr for Price and Kent. Well, he got his preferred track conditions at uh, Newcastle, winning the Gosford Cup. Um, look, now that we've this track's still in the soft range, he certainly brings him in with some chance. New Endeavour, Craig Williams for Gay and Adrian. Yeah, he's fit. Um, fourth up today, and he's on the seven-day backup after a narrow loss to Spirit Ridge last week. And his racing pattern suits this race today, you know, in the first half dozen or so. And a Queensland Oaks winner, Amakura, for Mark Zara, Chris Lee. Yeah, blinkers on today. Forgive first up. Uh, been good specking for her all week, which interests me, but uh, look, it's a big test for her here. Quedo trying to equal history. We've got a Derby and an Oaks winner in this field. Who have you come up with, Bernadette Cooper? Well, there are plenty that look terrific, actually. I am sticking with Kovalika. I feel like he's the up-and-coming, strong four-year-old. He doesn't look a whole lot different to what he did at the Sunshine Coast, perhaps a little bit deeper in colour and a bit more shine on his coat. Not that that necessarily wins races, but just a good all-over parade by him. Um, others that look good, I mean, Weta looks no different. Um, Numerian's got a nice bounce in his step, so you could say he's come on. And I guess if I were to pick another one at my roughy is actually right down the bottom. That's going to be Faulkner Park from the Annabelle Neesham stable. Well, history awaits. Where do Pete? Well, history is one thing, make it is another thing, Greg. But <laughs> just to be here with this horse is pretty special. You know, he's been lucky enough to win the last two running, so it'll be, be good to see him run well again. What do you think about him today? I think he's got a good hope. Uh, I would like to do it a bit better, but as the track's working out now, it might not be a, such a bad thing. But um, I'm happy with him. His runs have been good this time in. He's in good form. He always seems to bounce when he gets up here to Brisbane, yeah. and um, there's every reason to suspect a good run from this like today. Yeah, thanks, Greg. Good good well, the favourite is Kovalika, and he's been solid too on the QOP. Got to 370s, back into 340. The one Numerian, 850. 
down to $8, detonated jack 5 out to $5.50, and then Faulkner Park for 12 15 into $12. I'm with Kovalika. There he is, trotting out as he heads towards the start under Nashua Willa. I think today's the day. Putting in 12 Faulkner Park, good to see a little bit of market support for him. Then Umerian and detonated jack. I am four, three, five, and six. I'm in the corner of Detonator Jack here. Hopefully, McDonald can just slot in somewhere, whether that's uh, an extra length forward or an extra length back. I don't know, but I'll leave it to him. Just that, that cover, and I think he's going to surge to the line at the 2,000 metres here today. Uh, I think three's the danger. Kovalika, he obviously sets up well, minds his own business, has last look, been crying out for 2,000 metres again and gets it. Uh, Vow and Declare, I think he's here to run well, and I would have liked a drier track for Serpent Time with a soft lead here, but $26 seems overs, although he's stable mate here, New Endeavour. There was $51 during the week, and he's, he's in much shorter than that now, $15, the backup horse, four, three, five, and six. Two runners, Serpentine and New Endeavour. How will Serpentine like these conditions out there today? Yeah, look, uh, it's a little bit of an unknown for, for, for him. Um, I know he's sort of good on, on top of the ground, but yeah, obviously sort of testing testing for him first up here off that break, but that may bring a, bring a bit of stamina into it, which you know I'm, I'm sure might bring him into it as well. He seems to relish a really tough 2,000. He does, um, and, and that's what it would be today for him. Um, you know, as long as they're not too too sharp, um, that's sort of when he gets into a bit of trouble, but if he gets into a bit of a bit of a grind there with him, he, he can certainly outstay him. And the backup horse, New Endeavour. Yeah, interesting horse. Um, you know, I've got a lot of time for him uh, going forward, whether it's sort of a little bit too soon for him or, or not, but I've been really happy with him during the week. I thought it was a, an excellent effort there, last start, first attempt at the 2000, so uh, I don't mind the setup here, the backup for him, and he's got a lovely draw, so should get all the favours in the, in the race. Well, there has been money, as Ronnie said, for New Endeavour. $23 this morning. 50 to 1 earlier in the week and now $15 for New Endeavour so 50 to 1 into $15 during the week now the favourite, Kovalika this time last year he missed the rough habit they had to go via the Derby uh, the, via the uh, Dooman Cup to get to the Derby and he ran a very creditable third and he's favourite this year to try and win and get back into the winners list for the first time since winning the Derby it's been a 12 month dry spell for Kovalika. Detonator Jack, the winner of the gong at Kembla Grange is a $5.50 chance and very solid. New Merion, second last year and the winner of the Hollandale $9.50 into $8. Huetor he's trying to win it for a third time. We've said that over and over again. The difference with uh, Rough Habit and Huetor there might be many but Huetor Won his two Dooman Cups, one at Dooman, one at Eagle Farm. And now he's back to Dooman to try and make it three, and he'll try and do it with three different jockeys. Kerry McAvoy, Ryan Maloney, and now Tommy Berry looks to become the third to win a Dooman Cup on him. Can he create, or we wouldn't create it, he'd equal history. Gee, Ronnie, Serpentine's getting very hot over there behind the gates. Yeah, I think that's usual for him. He's a bit of a, a nervous energy type of horse. Five or six to move in, including Amakura. A run of Cups, Bernie, Albury, Wagga. Yeah, he's been extraordinary, giving them big starts. It's a big step today, wait for age, but I think he's up to it. The old Bodagon, a placing in a Cox Plate, a Group 1 winner in France, trying to win a Dooman Cup here today after running in the Hawkesbury Cup first up. He's second up here today. There's Fortner Park going in. El Bodagon is coming in as well. And we've got one out, one out. And that'll be Serpentine, the Epsom Derby winner. This is the Dooman Cup of 2024, 2,000 metres, Group 1. Here we go. All in now. Waiting for Bois d'Argence. Right, blinking away. Still holds. 
Still holding them here. Kovalika favourite. Rayleigh really Singh. Kovalika was away fairly. New Endeavour hopped away well. Handy the outside. Bois d'Argent rolling forward and handy also Young Verter the inside as Naval College comes over from out wide. New Mary and detonated Jack. El Bodegon's out four wide. Serpentine's even deeper. Kovalika's back to about seventh or eighth on the outside of further back as Vow and Declare. Next the outside has his shocker. A length and a half to Faulkner Park on the outside of Wet Tour who's gone back to second last and last of all is Amakura. So Naval College on the outside of Wadajant, the first couple. Young Verde got deck there. Working up into third, the outside is detonated Jack, a new endeavour handy on the rails. Followed further back by New Merriam. Three wide there is El Bodegon. A length and a half to Kovalika. Serpentine three deep. Wet all's on the fence. A long way back, Vow and Declare away from the rails on the outside of Faulkner Park. A length and a half to second last there is Hazel Shocker. Over on the outside of Emma Kura. So Bois d'Argent here by length and a quarter. Second Naval College and third New Endeavour. Fourth the outside detonated Jack. A length and a half to Young Verter on the inside of New Merriam. Going forward Serpentine three wide ahead there of El Bodegon three deep as well. Kovalik is over on the outside of Wet Tour. A length and a half to Faulkner Park on the inside of further back is Vow and Declare. Emma Kura second last and Hazel Shocker is now last of all. So Bois d'Argent by Nick is second Naval College working up into third Serpentine three wide New Endeavour fourth on the inside of Detonated Jack a length and a half to New Merriam Kovalik is going forward out four and five wide Wetor rides the rails on the inside and also making ground Faulkner Park inside the 350 Bois d'Argent's in front second New Endeavour third the inside there is Wetor Detonated Jack runs home down the outside and further out there is Kovalik Bois d'Argent's in front the outside is New Endeavour up into third is Wet Tour. Bois d'Argent and New Endeavour. Bois d'Argent, New Endeavour. Bois d'Argent in front. Or oh, maybe Bois d'Argent and Nose. But G New Endeavour put a dive in on the outside. It's a photo on the cup. Faulkner Park third, followed by Wet Tour Naval College. Then we had next across the line was Hazus Shocker, Kova Leaker, followed then by Detonator Jack Amakura, Serpentine Young Verta, New Marion, followed then by Vow and Declare Naval College and El Bodder. Gone. Yes, the inside. Bois d'Argent's won. The grey Bois d'Argent wins for Blake Shin and Annabel Nisham. Annabel wins a second Duman Cup, and Blake Shin now becomes a record holder equally. He's won his third Duman Cup. He joins Morris McCartan, George Moore, Jim Cassidy, and Karen McAvoy, having won three Duman Cups. Annabelle Neesham, her second. Her first was with Saki, who ran away with the Duman Cup. Today, her grey holds on by a nose to beat the very brave and well-ridden new endeavour. And number 12 is going to be third. That is Faulkner Park for Annabelle also. Look at Faulkner Park getting home. Wethor, it wasn't his day today. He runs fourth at his third attempt in a Duman Cup. Wow, what a win. He just uh, took control of the race. He withstood pressure and he just kept finding. This is a horse that did run fourth in a Caulfield cu Cup in the spring and uh, Annabelle's picked him up. Great racing style and just Shin has just lifted him over the ro uh, over the line. That's his second narrow defeat in two weeks. A uh, new endeavour. Uh, very frustrating for his connections and Faulkner Park, a horse on the improve, has run on strongly. The favourite's disappointing. Uh, all honours to the winner. Did it both ends. 11, 14, 12, and 2. Bois d'Argent is the Duman Cup champion. Annabelle wins her second, and she's now with Bernie. She is just the queen of Australian racing when it comes to these stayers. Big hugs, high fives, it's all going on. Congratulations, your second Doomban Cup. Where did you line this guy up here today? Well, he was the one I was saying was way over the odds because you just pick, pick back through his form and, you know, he's no worse than, than the rest of these, of the better horses in this field. He, he ran fourth in a cool field cup. He was a bit unlucky. The Tancred just, yeah, didn't, didn't really work out for him that day, but he ran really well and... Um, um, oh, just so happy for, for Grant Morgan and his team because he's been a, a good supporter and a, a great bunch of owners in, in him. So beautiful ride um, by Blake. He just he rated him beautifully and 
new endeavour was uh, certainly kept us honest to the line. I thought it was a flashback of last week. Um, but uh, it was a small margin, but it, uh, it was a margin nonetheless. So just so happy for the team. They've done a great job to get four horses here and um, they all look to run really well. So delighted. This guy looks the sweetest of horses to have around. Yeah, he is. He might be a clerk of the course horse one day, look, looking at the uh, colour of him. But yeah, he's a beautiful horse and um, yeah, just a great job by the team. Do you love the run of Faulkner Park there also getting into third? Yeah, I, I actually thought rounding the corner he was travelling better than anything. Um, but he certainly stepped up um, to the mark and he'll probably go to the Q22 now and you'd think he'd be a big player in that after today's run. Will they all go that way? Pro- probably, yeah. I thought New Marion was a little bit disappointing. He looked, uh, see what Jamie... Jamie says, um, but uh, yeah, I'd say at this stage they will push on to there. I thought even Naval College was great. You know, big step up in class for him today as well. Well done. Thank you. So Blake Shin wins his third Dooman Cup and he joins McCartan, Moore, Cassidy and McAvoy also with three, but it's been ten years since he won his first Dooman Cup on streamer for his mentor, his great friend Guy Walter. Only five days after that Dooman Cup Guy passed away. So it's been a very, very special moment here today for Blake Shin, who not only equals the record, but relives some great memories of Doom and Cups past. 11, 14, 12 and 2. What, 2, 3.62 they've run. We'll bring you Blake shortly.